Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael SK, and welcome to the Eden of Grisaya, the unrated version. It it took them a while, but they finally got this up. A few months after it released on Steam, I believe, but this is the finale, the the third visual novel in the original, I have to include that now, the original Grisaya trilogy. I am very excited to play this because the story in the Labyrinth of Grisaya was was amazing. I, I loved it. I loved going through it. A lot of times I just felt really into it. I felt immersed. It was a really good story. And of course, I'm just a big fan of Grisaya in general. I loved going through the common route in the Fruit of Grisaya, and I loved going through just the individual routes in the Fruit of Grisaya. So I am definitely ready for this. I waited for the unrated version because I want to be the, the guy who pisses people off by skipping the 18 plus scenes. I, I'll, I'll try to go easy on that, but regardless, I wanted to wait for this. The uh, the uncut stuff, the, the full on everything that they got version. So we'll get started. If you guys are new here, then welcome. I'm, I'm glad I'm the one uh, you guys have chosen to check out for the Eden of Grisaya. I hope you enjoy this video, the playthrough in general. If you guys have been here before, you guys know the drill. Let's let's start this thing, man. What the hell is this? Wow, already off the bat, I have to censor something. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so I guess we have to do prologue? I, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, I can't. Uh, there's only one thing I can do. I can't, I can't do anything else here. I guess I have to do the Seed of Blan Ale. Is, is that how you pronounce it? Whatever. Anyways, let's, let's jump into it. I can't believe I already have to censor something. And here we go. Got a movie clip here. And I have no idea if I'll be able to... Uh, include it though I think I'll need to cuz I don't think this is an inch I, th I think this is like an intro to no no I think this is the intro to the game I was gonna say like uh... I don't know what I was thinking it was a man with a strange and checkered past a man who'd lost his purpose in life and struggled desperately to find a new one man I miss Yuji it's been a while since I've like really gotten into the, into the plot here Oh shit, this is going way back. In the garden known as Miyama Academy, he'd saved five fruits on the verge of rotting. You got that right, baby. Or something al along those lines. Yep, there we go. Don't worry, guys. I, I, I know all of them. I, I haven't recorded all of them, but I, I know the routes. And with a long-awaited promotion on the line, he visited the headquarters of his employer. Alright, I didn't have time to go through that all right whatever after telling JB the long story of his life Yuji returned to Mishima Cape and something happened his task was to assassinate an international terrorist and uh, it was my dad I had to assassinate my father man oh shit dude. he's returned Kazumi Yuji Heath Oslo man Fucking Heath Oslo. Wanting to cross dress Yuji like that? Ridiculous. Alright, back in Mihama Academy, everyone saw whatever the hell happened. I, I actually don't even remember what hell, but what the hell happened. It was kind of ridiculous. Oh. Oh. Those are some gunshots right there. And that's static. Oh. Well, something's definitely going on. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to watch that intro movie. That wasn't the intro to the game. It was just... It was literally like a, a recap. That's what I was trying to speak earlier. So that we we're jumping into a recap. Uh, if I was unable to put that in, I'm sorry. Uh, this uh, DX story doesn't record that, and OBS was being stupid when I was trying to get it to record something before. 
In that moment, everyone in the lobby was completely dumbfounded. No one spoke. To be more precise, no one could speak. The specific reason, not a single person in the room knew how to process the information that had just been presented to them. And they stared at the television, listening to the announcers describe Kazumi Yuji as a terrorist. They watched the footage from the scene, recognizing their own classmate as the gunman. And they disbelieved their own eyes. The facts were impossible to ugh, to digest. The reality was impossible to accept. All they wanted was for something to erase the truth entirely. Matsushima Michiru had always hated silence. And so, desperate for relief from this oppressive state of affairs, she broke the spell with a few meaningless words. Uh, I wouldn't say it's too meaningless. I feel like voices are not loud enough. And I felt... I had the same problem in this... Oh, God damn it. I had the same problem in the beginning of Labyrinth. Uh, well, I guess I'll just boost the audio for now and I'll see how things are. Uh, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just boost the voice. I'll just... I'll see how things are in editing. Jerking her head abruptly, or head up abruptly, Komenesachi pulled her cell phone from her pocket, then launched a one seg television application. It's not a prank, man. After a frustrating pause, the screen of her phone began to display the same images as the television in front of them. Only a few seconds delayed. ゲンジツって this is all really confusing because this is obviously a direct continuation from the Labyrinth of Grisaya, but there seems to be a gap in, in what we saw, what actually happened from game to game here. ちょっと似てるってだけじゃん。それとも何か別の目的があるか。どういうこと目的って何さすがに私でもそこまでは水面下で何かが動いている。ああ、I why do their phones sound like they're from the 90s? Yeah, I think she did. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Michiru's getting a little bit better. Who the fuck is this? Well, alrighty. Oh, 
いい子ねそれじゃえ<笑> That escalated quite fast 何今の間違ってかけちゃったあれでも発信履歴はちゃんとユージの番号になってるどういうこと今の誰やっぱりねやっぱりってどういうこと容疑者扱いで実名報道されてる人間の電話回線なんてとっくに傍受されてるわよちょっとそういうことはもっと早く言ってよどちらにせよもう風見くんの番号へかけてはダメということね監視されているわじゃあ誰にかければいいのそうねかけるとしたらハルデラさんかしら誰か彼女の連絡先知ってる Maybe サチ確か以前いただいた名刺があったような Hell yeah boy hell I called that one <笑>ありました有限会社アサヒクリーンこの代表の番号の下に書いてあるのがハルデラさんの携帯の番号です松島さん電話してみてまた私なんで私 They only have one CG for someone calling someone else もう一度汚れた番号なんだしもう一度ぐらい泥がついても平気よ電話してもう牛かよいいからちゃっちゃと電話しやがってください Hell yes, Sachi <laughs> Fucking best, dude この電話をなんだと思ってるのよ、まったく I told you <laughs> ごめんなさいよろしいもう電話しちゃダメよわっまた一方的に切られたっていうか怒られたじゃないのよユミコ怒られないって言ったのに電話に出たのは同じ人物あうんたぶんっていうか間違いなくなんなのあの女この分ではハルデラさんの会社の方に電話しても無駄でしょうねどうしよう誰に相談すればいいの私らが相談できる大人なんて地図地図くらいしかいねえのよ学園長でしたらハルデラさんとも親しいようですし何かご存知かもしれません何かを知っていたところで私たちに気軽に話せるような状況とも思えないけどそれに今は立花さんもそれどころではないかもしれないわとにかく学園長に会いに行ってみるのよさ Well alrighty It is July and night time はいどうぞ会えてますよあ、ah, the principal 失礼します Ah, the boxes. Yeah, everything's just a fucking mess. Yeah, みなさんお揃いでどうされましたかあのえっと少し聞きたいことがありましてうんどこから説明したものか風見くんのことですかああ、she knows あはいですよねまあそれ以外の理由でこんな時間に大勢で私を訪ねてくる理由もないでしょうし風見くんの現状をご存知なのですね
風見君が今どういう立場に立たされているかはテレビのニュースで知っています。So she knows nothing more than what they already know。けれど、彼が今どこでどうしているかまでは知りません。知恵なんだい。それじゃ私たちと大して変わんないのよさ。あまり驚いてはおられないようですねいえ十分に驚いていますよただこういうこともあるかもしれないという覚悟は彼が三浜に入学した時からしていましたから What? There is a chance that he'd always commit a crime? こういうこととは風見くん本人からは不意にいなくなっても大騒ぎするなと言われてましたしアルデラさんからも同様のことを言われましたそしてそういうことになったら決して探したりして深入りするなとも、hmm. 何よそれそうなんで納得しろっての私も同じ質問を風見くんにしましたそれに対する風見くんの回答は納得する必要などないそれがうちの会社だとのことですよそれはあまりに理不尽ですうちの会社が理不尽でなかった例など一度もないというのが彼の答えですあ、oh, sounds like something you'd say あーあーじゃねえのよ何ちょっと納得しそうになってんのよさ<笑>いやなんかユージが言いそうなことだなーって。Yeah, there you go. 今回の襲撃報道と風見くんの会社にどんな関係がそれは私も知りません。知りませんが、もともとテロとは関係の深い会社です。そこに関してはあなたたちの気にすることではありません。身も蓋もない言い方ね。私たちには関係ないことだから首を突っ込むなってこと言葉は悪いですがおおむねその通りですあなたたちの力でどうにかなる問題ではありません私のような立場の人間から頭ごなしに押さえつけられれば何クソと反発の感情も湧き上がるとは思いますふん、but where's the authority part and all that? けれど学生風情が命がけになったところでどうにかなる問題ではありませんこれは断言できますくれぐれも軽はずみな行動を取らないでくださいこれは私自身の保身から出る言葉ではなくあなたたち思えばこそ出た言葉とご理解くださいぬうそれは承服しかねるぞ学園長提督みたいな言葉遣いしてもダメなものはダメですせめて納得に至る事情説明があれば私たちとて愚行を踏みとどまりますが事情事情ですかあまり詳しく説明する時間もないのですが Time? You're talking with everyone right now! You've got time! どこかへお出かけになるのですか皆さんご存知の通りこの三浜学園はもうじき閉校になりますそのための身辺整理と新しい学園を設立するために世界中を飛び回る予定です Well I don't remember ever hearing about this but I do remember this from the anime 新しい三浜ができるの Wait was this stated in the labyrinth of Grisaya somewhere in there? I, I, I don't think so When was this ever stated? まだなんとも言えませんね。メインスポンサーだった盗品電鉄グループの総帥は失脚してしまいましたし、学園運営資金の大口寄付者であったイリスケンも、査察の介入を恐れてお財布を隠してしまいました。まあ、簡単に言ってしまえば、まったく当てはありません。あなたたちも今後の身の振り方はちゃんと考えておいてくださいね
本当になくなっちゃうんだ。ミハマ学園。Yep, it's just gonna vanish. まあ、施設の解体費用が出ない以上は、建物自体は残ります。学園としては機能しませんが、今後は郷土歴史資料館的な用途が見込まれています。Uh, I remember when this place was blown up. The timing is a little weird. But that's all at the Ocasion of Goto Eidas. Chu to Hampa, the Joho Kise Kosoma, Koto Mukena Oksoko on Show Nanodes. Kanojo no Mogan or Haja Shikonda or Samerima, Joho Gastio Nano de Varimasenko. Mono Ayo Desne. That's canny. Anata Tachio Konoma Hoch Sriba, Nanyo Shidekaska, Wakata Mono de Varimasen. しかたがありませんね。お話ししましょう。うぅ。かざみくんの現状は、私の父親の秘書を通じて、一応私の耳にも入ってきてはいます。The principal has a dad? けれども、それらの情報は極めて曖昧かつ断片的であり、あくまでも噂の息を出ない、不確かな情報であるということを前提として聞いてください。まず確実な情報として国際的なテロリストであるヒース・オスロが日本国内に入国したということ。Yep, my dad is back. 次に、風見君は幼い頃、そのヒース・オスロに引き取られ、特殊な環境下で組織に従事していたのもまた事実。And based on the files that the five of them read illegally, I'm sure they know this. Maybe. So, not to join you, the Kazamikun was so no migara was safe when he calls a celebrity to the sheet on a Joe Ho de Sunga. For any guns to a what does he must say, Kakuna to Koro, a Hako de Kitty, Massa, she Kakuni no Shuga, I must say. Yeah, I know what I started to see. I know so you could do a nakte. Nandi, oh, Nichan got a terrorist on a Nakama to stay hold on. Kazami さんは本当にテロリストになってしまったのですか？可愛いメイドとその愉快な仲間たちを捨てて悪に落ちてしまったのですか？ Lovable maid and her amusing companions, huh? みなさん少し落ち着きましょう。前置きしましたように、私もすべての情報を把握しているわけではありません。そもそも一階の私立学園学園長にそこまで期待するのは酷というものですよ。この手の情報は私なんかより榊さんの方が精通しているはずです。榊さんにわからないことを私に聞かれても。いえ、私にしても得られるのはお金で買える情報に限定されますし、先ほどの学園長のお話の中でも。私の得られなかった情報が一つありましたふんそれって風見くんが政府機関に身柄を拘束されている可能性があるという情報ね私の予想ではすでに風見くんの身柄はヒースオスロの手に渡ったのではないかと予想していましたヒースオスロの手に落ちた風見くんは何らかの事情でオスロのテロ活動に加担したそんな風に考えていたのだけれどもし風見くんの身柄が未だ政府内部に隠匿されているとなれば事情が大きく変わってくるわふむ詳しく聞こうか詳しくも何も憶測に憶測を重ねた推論に過ぎないのだけれどおそらく風見くんは国家とテロリストの間で政治的な取引に利用されようとしている。So it was a setup. Interesting. And it's not just for Yuji's safety, it's for the safety of the country. It's a deal. 
どういうこともう少しわかりやすく説明してよ。God fucking damn it. <sighs> と言われてもどう説明したものかしらまず私が疑問に感じたのは今回の領事館襲撃に関して得をする人間が見えてこなかったこと。えどういうこといいまず第一に人為的な作為には必ずと言っていいほど損得が関係している今回の領事館襲撃に関してもリスクに見合う得を得るものが見えてこないそれが一番の疑問それでも風見くんの身柄が政府の手の内にあるという前提で考えれば風見くんの存在を政府が意図的に公開することでオスロとの取引材料になる可能性の示唆となるつまりは得が発生することになるわ次になぜテロリストとして報道したかという疑問に突き当たるのだけれど政府は相手の連絡先を知らないと考えればこの手の強引な手段もありえないわけではない事実海外で起きた誘拐事件などではテレビや新聞なんかのメディアを使って犯人と交渉するケースもありますそれで結局ユージは今どこで何をしているの Probably imprisoned. 今はまだ何とも言えないわ風見くんが政府に拘束されてテロリストの交渉材料にされているという推察も一つの不確定要素の上で成り立っているに過ぎないし風見ユージがテロリストに対し交渉材料足りうるのかですかその通りそもそもテロリストの入国の目的もわからなければ風見裕二が交渉材料に足るかどうかもわからない思い当たることはといえばヒース・オスロの風見裕二に対する個室というか執着というかもっと言えば愛着のようなものとしか想像できないこれは極めて細い線だと言わざるを得ない、hmm. えっとうんつまり何そのヒースやらっていうテロリストは奪われた有事を取り戻すために日本に来たってこと yeah, did, but, but did people really steal うーんそのヒースってやつはホモなのか That's actually a valid question. あなたたちを相手にしていると。真面目に考えている自分がバカみたいに思えてくるわねまあ何せよ風見くんを取り巻く環境は高度に政治的な問題に発展していますましてやテロリストが国内に大量殺戮兵器を持ち込んだという噂もあると報道されてもいますしあなたたちがどうこうできるレベルをはるかに逸脱しています Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna try something 結局彼らテロリストの目的は何なんですかさあとにかくあなたたちが余計なことをして風見くんの状況が不利になることだけは避けてくださいねなあ、no. right. Don't do anything It'll only make Kazumi Yuji situation worse At the moment, they didn't even know what Kazumi Yuji's situation was, much less how to improve it. When the matter was to put them, or when the matter was put to them so plainly, it was difficult to justify rushing into action. That said, the students of Mihama Academy weren't exactly the sort of well behaved young women who'd obediently sit on their hands when told not to do anything stupid. Of course, come on. <laughs> 私たちにできることって本当に何もないの There probably isn't, but this seems like a good place to stop because it's a little after four in the morning. This really came out of nowhere. I didn't, I didn't state that in the beginning of the,、uh, the recording here, but the, the game kind of just released here in the middle of the morning. And early in the middle of the morning, I should say. It's, it's like I said, a little past 4 a.m. Pacific time. <laughs> Think about those on the east.、Um, I think it came out about a couple hours ago, which is just really weird. Really weird timing. But yeah, it is very late, and I want to get some editing in. I, I do want to 
get this ready for you guys as soon as possible because I've been waiting a long time and I'm maybe a lot of you guys have as well but uh, I already have a save file here because I had to I had to go take care of something mid recording you might you you guys might see the, like the little cut that I'll do in editing but whatever I'll see if I can get the uh, what the fuck chapter are we in Bang the Jaller... Whatever. Um, I'll see if I can uh, get that intro clip, that movie clip in the beginning in the video here. It might be difficult because I don't know if OBS will pick it up, and I know for a fact DX Tori didn't. I didn't see the indicator for DX Tori recording, so it's going to be all blank. But I'll see what I can do in terms of getting that movie clip in. Uh, if I if I can't, I'm sorry. It was pretty much just a recap, but I'll I'll try my best. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, first episode of the Eden of Grisaya. Who? It's so awesome to say that. If you enjoyed this episode and you guys are excited for more, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy and uh, well, good night, I guess.